Right now is the perfect time to check out Western Rise. With spring and summer here, this is the perfect chance for you to get your hands on something like their boundless shorts, which are water resistant, so you can wear them all day out to the cafe and then take them into the jacuzzi or pool or any kind of swimming activity you want because they're that versatile. Or my personal favorite, a merino t-shirt or long sleeve shirt because they can go farther and last longer. So check out Western Rise, use discount code ODIE, that's O-D-I-E, to get 15% off your entire order. Help my channel out with a little bit of kitchen back and get your hands on some wonderful clothing for your outdoor festivities this spring and summer season. Western Rise discount code OD and that's it. On with the video. What's going on everyone? My name is Odie Matthews and welcome to my channel and on this episode or video not only am I embracing going full YouTube but we're also going to talk about something that I saw pop up on my YouTube shorts feed and I just knew that I had to test it because I felt like maybe just maybe it wasn't the best thing to listen to. Let's get into it. Okay, now I wanna say before I show the video that made me wanna make this video, no hate to this creator, it was probably a paid sponsorship or just a bag that they genuinely thought was good. So the video that I wanna talk about is this one right here. This backpack is 40 liters and it seriously has a pocket for absolutely anything. There are a lot of secret anti-theft pockets, a slide for your carry-on suitcase, and a whistle. It even comes with this port for charging your phone and listening to music. I packed as many clothes as I could in the suitcase portion and it's still closed so easily. So I don't want to play the whole video because it's a YouTube short and I don't want to take away from views of this creator. So if you'd like to watch the full thing, I will link it down below and you can go check it out. But please do not be disrespectful or hateful or anything I say in this video has, again, no representation of them in the video that they created. So naturally, yeah, I bought the bag. Sorry, Max. I guess I'm covering you up for the... Yeah, actually, you know what? We don't want to cover up the boy. So we'll leave him in frame. I bought the bag off Amazon. And I wanted to see if what she was saying, it was true or if it held up. But most importantly, is this bag actually worth the $50 price tag on Amazon? Or is it worth just spending a little bit more to get a bag that maybe isn't as cheap? And that's the answer that I would like to give you in this video. Okay, so the first thing I wanna point out is that I have this expanded. Now these straps here in the video, she was able to pull these and cinch it down, but I just did that and already it broke. Um, I hadn't done that yet because I actually couldn't get these to pull very easily. If you can't tell, I was struggling really hard. And when I just forced this one, I just broke the clip. <laughs> so, oh, well, it's broken. So that's a great start um, on this. And then, so like this should be one-handed. There we go. That one worked. And this one should be, I should be able to do this one-handed. That, that's annoying. And for the most part, these two were fine. One of these broke and the other one I couldn't get. So not the best start when in terms of lash straps, especially when one of the things that they're selling about this bag on Amazon through the company, not the girls video. So from now on, I'm just gonna reference what the actual Amazon page says, because obviously what she said was very, you know, surface level. But they said on here, you know, like one of the main things is that it's expandable. So it goes from about like 27 liters out to 40 liters. Now. With what I have in here, which is my essential travel kit minus my laptop, I just didn't put it in there because I'm, I'm using it right now, but I put minus the laptop, everything else in here is basically what I would take if I was doing like bare minimum one bag travel, right? And right away with the expandability, because there are no load lifters on these straps and because these straps are literally paper thin, this whole bag just leans backwards and it, you can just feel the weight on your shoulders. And this bag isn't even that heavy right now because I don't even have my laptop in it. And it still was sagging off the back of me because all of the weight of this bag is in the front. All the extra organization, all the compartments, most of the clothing after you expand it, it all leans forward. The only thing that you would have to keep it up against you would be your laptop, but it still wouldn't be enough. When I had the laptop in here, it still wasn't enough to offset the droopiness. So that's not exactly great. And on that note, talking about the straps, um, very paper thin and very uncomfortable. Not at all what I would want to wear. The back panel, however, not bad. I will admit there's a little bit of padding there. And when you have your laptop in, this back panel is a little bit sturdier and it's not terrible. You also have a luggage pass through, which again, isn't terrible. For 50 bucks, this expandable part, I kind of expected, especially with these straps, but these straps feel like they belong on a $40, $50 bag. That's how bad they are. Legitimately, 
probably some of the worst straps I've ever felt on a bag. Okay, let's talk about the front pocket organization. So you have this one pocket here at the front, which is where I was kind of able to put my Sennheiser over the ear noise canceling headphones. However, again, this pocket was very floopy and droopy. And it also kind of has a very big issue of coexisting with this other front flat compartment, which was the only place relatively easy enough to put my AirPod Pros. And in a real travel situation, neither of these pockets would be great for this because they both have no extra organization and are just giant pockets that again, whatever you put in here, you can feel it up against here. So you just get lots of bulges and the outline of everything you're carrying is very visible because the pocket behind that is where you would have organization, I guess. But again, it's so bare minimal that you only have two flat pockets and then two pin bits. Luckily for us pouchers out there, there is a nice slot because of this open spot where you can easily put pouches. However, two problems with that that this bag runs into is it eats up the pocket dimension of the front two pockets. But on top of that, this bag also has one of those gimmicky things that I'm not the biggest fan of, where you can plug a power bank in on the inside and then there's a spot, uh, where is it, like here, on the outside somewhere oh right here where you can actually like charge your phone by plugging in a usb and you can also do it with headphones because we got transported back to when the ipad uh, ipod nano was a thing so you could plug in your ipod nano and then you could plug in wired headphones on the outside of your backpack like bluetooth and having your phone in your pocket isn't a thing these days i mean both my headphones right here are wireless so Anyways, I didn't even notice this when I was making the video, but I wanted to put this in there when I was talking about this little charging point right here. Look at this. So I tried to put a USB in here, but it was put in so wrong and crooked that uh, you can't plug a USB into it. So this is completely worthless on this bag. So I filmed this video yesterday and I was getting all my B-roll for it today. And just more and more, I don't know if this bag is even worth 50 bucks, but on with the rest of the video. So it has that gimmick, but these cords have no home down here. So they're just flea free floating basically. So you kind of need to use one of these pockets. If you're going to use this part power bank, you kind of need to use one of those pockets in order to plug it in. But then you just have all these extra wires. That's the like organization that you get. And then you can open this thing up. And I will admit there are some things on this bag that again, for 50 bucks, I'm tearing into it pretty hard, but overall for 50 bucks, this is pretty much on par with what I would expect. So in the video, she mentions wet pockets, right? So I looked into these and the thing is, I am a poucher, like I said earlier. So I'm gonna use something like a toiletry kit. I'm not gonna have just a bunch of free floating liquids. And if I did, they would still be in a bag of some kind, usually a waterproof bag of some kind, like the ones from gravel, <laughs> like, and that would be sitting in my bag if I was gonna do it that way. So it's still, this is great, like this is awesome, but it's not something that I personally would use because again, I would have my stuff in stuff. So if you like this, there's two pockets here that you could put, you know, free floating like shampoo bottles or liquids or perfumes or anything like that. If you wanted to, I just would recommend looking into pouches or at least putting in a bag inside of this. I don't think putting just free stuff in here is the best approach, especially given that this is a carry on. But then you get the final part of this bag, which is the clothing section. Now I put more than I probably would normally bring. Oops, I just hit the microphone, sorry. Um, in this bag with it expanded out, I couldn't fit what I normally would with it not expanded, so I had to expand it, but then it was too much room because it was just not enough. And I chose not to do packing cubes. Normally I would, but just to kind of get you an idea of all the clothing I have in here, it's four t-shirts, two pairs of pants. It's all Western right. So four pairs of Merino t-shirts, two pairs of their Evolution 2.0 pants, Spectrum joggers, their quarter zip, and then socks and underwear, and then a pair of their Evolution shorts for like lounging. That's what I packed. And that's like, again, just like an average loadout for travel. So, hmm, let me think. You're gonna get what you pay for. Oh, I didn't even mention the laptop compartment. Uh, no protection on the bottom of the bag. So not my favorite thing, because again, if you put this bag down too hard, uh, you'd have zero protection, which is not cool. Um, bags that don't have laptop protection, just why? <laughs> why not? Just put a little something, just put anything there. Like literally anything, cardboard. Is still more put cardboard in it actually if you have a bag like that maybe if it works let me know here's the thing for 50 bucks if you're just gonna do some weekend travel if you're just gonna like beat the crap out of it you don't care 
it's maybe for like a one-time only trip maybe you're not somebody who travels a lot or don't plan on traveling a lot and you just want something that fits the basic needs of travel then yeah absolutely it yeah this bag makes sense because at the end of the day why why would you want to spend 150 more, if not more on a bag if you're not a frequent traveler if it's not something you care about if it doesn't matter to you and that's totally fine and don't let anybody tell you otherwise if you want to buy a cheap bag because you're because that's you that i just described totally fine for everybody else that maybe wants a good bag or, or needs a bag that's going to last longer or you're a frequent traveler or, or any of that or maybe you want some of that extra organization or any extra features or any thought behind design into a bag then i would say just spend the extra 100 bucks and get something anything else anything else from any other brand any brand that's trusted any brand that a reviewer like myself or pack hacker or bo is mono has reviewed look at those if you want suggestions you can shoot me an email odmatthewsbags at gmail.com if you give me a price range i'll happily give you the bags that i've tested and tried that would be in that price range that would fit to something similar and that's where i would leave this i think that that video is a great way to show this bag off to people that might want it. However, I will say a lot of things that were covered in that video just don't hold up and don't function the way that they need to. Yeah, those wet compartments are great, but the expandability makes the bag even more droopier and the straps are extremely uncomfortable. So yeah, it might have a luggage pass through, but if you have to put this thing on your back at all, it's gonna be uncomfortable. And honestly, these materials feel extremely cheap. It feels like a $50 bag. And that's what you're gonna get with a $50 bag is a bag that has materials that clang and bang around and feel a little cheap to the touch. So with all that being said, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about this homey, home, homey, yeah, homey, homey, is that an O? It's a power sign. Kind of could be an A. Looks a lot like an apple. Um, the homey bag. I'll link this below. It's on Amazon. If you want to look into it, you could get it. If you'd like to, if you want to test it out for yourself, again, 50 bucks, you know, maybe it could have a place in somebody's home. But with all that being said, I already said that. Uh, thank you guys again so much for all the love and support you give this channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and all of that wonderful nonsense. And I will see you next time.